Greetings from California. I'm back again with another video like I promised. Um, before I start on this, I am wearing like a tube top, so I'm not naked, even though it looks like it. I'm really not. <laughs> um, I actually came back from Vegas about two days ago, and it was really, really fun. Um, I know I'm supposed to be doing like this video vlog thing, but I really couldn't because you spent most of the time in the casino, and you cannot record in the casino. I can't even be in the casino, and I managed to lose all my money. So that means that if I lose this year, then next year when I am 21, then I'll win it back, right? Today I was supposed to be doing um, what's in my travel bag, but then most of those items in my travel bag are in the haul that I'm supposed to be doing for my next video. And I figured it didn't make sense if I showed you guys everything that was going to be in the haul, you know? So I'm going to actually switch it around and if you guys want me to still continue to do my what's in my travel bag then I'll happily do it for you guys. Let's get started. So I have this giant, giant, giant haul and uh, most of these items are from Drugstore so that's really good for you guys and for me, for my wallet, for my very small wallet after Vegas. So the first items that I bought from the Drugstore were these uh, Wet n Wild Mega Liners. I got the Jet Black and the Dark Brown. And I didn't really expect much from them because they're so cheap. Um, they're about $2.99 a piece. I needed a quick replacement for my Urban Decay liquid liner and perversion. I love them and I think I will never spend $18 on a liquid liner again. So the top one, the very first one right here, is actually the Wet n Wild in Jet Black. The second one I did it, it's the liquid liner and perversion. And as you can see, the Wet n Wild is actually darker than the Urban Decay liquid liner. And the third one is a swatch of the dark brown, which also looks kind of black, but it's a brown. Just amazing. I definitely, definitely recommend them. Um, the only thing that I don't really like about it is that it tends to dry very slowly. But other than that, it's a great, great liquid liner. The next item is the Blush Little Cream Stick from NYC, and this has been the rave of YouTube. Um, I've heard so many good things about it, so I decided to try it. bought this from... CVS for like $3.99 or something and this is in the shade Plaza Pink and I actually have a swatch of it right here and as you can see it looks kind of dramatic it looks like a really really bright pink but after you blend it out it looks really natural and um, I like to use this for my cheeks and I actually like to use it on my lips um, I have it on right now and it just stays on for a long time and it doesn't feel like it's not as thick as lipstick it's like just a tint of color next I have um, this Revlon cream gloss in, I think this is Coral, Oh Crush on Coral, and I got this on sale from Rite Aid for like 75% off, but it's actually a really, really pretty color. Um, here's a swatch of it. So it's like a very, very bright coral color, and um, it stays on for a long time, but the only thing about it is it's really, really sticky, and I don't really like that. But I got this for about $2.50 anyways, instead of 8 bucks, so it's worth it. Next, I bought the Maybelline Great Lash Clear Mascara because um, I ran out of my Anastasia Brow Gel. And the Anastasia line, the brand is so, so, so expensive. And it's just about your eyebrows. You know, it's not your entire face, just your eyebrows. And I don't think I'm going to spend, you know, almost close to $30 on eyebrow gel. By Tiffany D. She likes to use this, so I decided to give it a try. And I really, really like it. It just really shapes my eyebrows nicely. The only thing about this is that it does take a while to dry. Like, you can actually feel it still being wet on your eyebrows maybe like two minutes after you applied it. But other than that, it's, really, it's a really cheap alternative to like the Anastasia Brow Gels. Another Full and Soft from Maybelline. Really, really like this mascara. I got the NYX eyeshadow base, which you guys have seen in my everyday routine. And you guys know that I use this as a concealer, even though it's a base. And it's just a really, really nice, creamy consistency. Um, I would say that this jar, or this eyeshadow base in skin tone, is about NC25, NC30. So if you guys are looking for a good concealer, you guys should try out um, the NYX eyeshadow base. Okay, so I finally went to Ulta, and that's where I found my, you know, NYX eyeshadow base. And I decided to pick up an eyeshadow, and this is in taupe. And it's a really, really pretty neutral color. It's very, very pigmented, and um, I like to use this on the crease of my, 
uh, lids. And so the next item I got was from the HIP brand, the HIP. Is it HIP? The L'Oreal HIP line. And um, I got this from Rite Aid for 75% off. And without the 75% off, this thing is $10. And it's just a small shade stick. Um, this is in the color Alluring. And it says that it's a pigment stick and you could use it wet or dry. Uh, they said that if you use it wet, the color will be more dramatic. But the color by itself is actually really pretty already. And it's actually this color right here. It's really, really cute and easy to carry around because it's very, very, very tiny. Next, if you guys are looking for a tinted moisturizer, I highly suggest this. It's the Physician Formula Healthy Wear Tinted Moisturizer, and this has SPF 50. I used this a lot when I was in Vegas because it was about 110 degrees there every day, and ugh, just I could just feel myself getting burnt, you know? I have the color Light to Natural, and um, I am a NC27 to NC30. I really like this. It's not too oily. It kind of gives you like a matte finish. I have it on right now. I think this is way better than the Laura Mercier foundation. Oh my gosh. The Laura Mercier foundation made me look like a freaking plate of oil. It has a pump, which is awesome. And so that's pretty much if you blend it. So next I got the Jane um, bronzer and this is an oil fruit bronzing powder. I think it's in 09 Sahara which is for the fair complexion. And I really really like this bronzer. Um, I've used it a few times. It blends well so that's the color right there. It is kind of orange but it's like one of those sun-kissed bronzers and I actually like this a lot better than the NYC sunny, sunny bronzer. I got the Tarte Park Avenue Princess and this is the mineral powder bronzer and this is actually the travel size and it just makes my face glow I really really like it this is the travel size you could go to Sephora and buy it pick it up for $15 it also comes with this little kabuki brush the main reason why I bought it I was sold on this little kabuki brush look at how cute is that it's like a travel kabuki brush how cute is that? Um, if you guys are in Sephora and you guys do find the Tarte travel kit of the bronzing, I suggest you guys get it. Next, I got the Benefit To Go, and it comes with Benefit to Stay Don't Stray, which is okay. Um, I've never really put it to the test because it also came with um, the RSVP cream, cream Shadow Slash Liner, and I actually bought this as a replacement of my Urban Decay Sin, which it's pretty much the same thing. It's very, very pretty. It's like a very pretty gold champagne color. It came with a raised paste, which I'm using right now underneath my eyes. And I think it works really, really good as a under eye concealer. But um, it just really, really brightens up the eye area. And so you get these three for $10. I had a lot of things to show you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed my little haul. Uh, my next video will be, I'm not sure what my next video will be, but um, I hope you guys do suggest some ideas. And so if you guys like me, you know, subscribe, rate, leave me comments, message me, because I'll happily, happily respond to you guys. I love getting messages, I love getting comments, and as you can see, I do reply to all my comments. So um, yeah, it's coming away. I would love that. And if you guys want a shout out, I'll be happy to do that too. I hope you guys like me and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. And feel free to request it because I will do it for you guys because I never actually get any requests. I got a request for showing my feelings. You know who you are. Um, you wanted to see my feelings. So, ah. So for the, so the, which is this one and dark brown. And, um,